Guys, today I am bringing you a bow that is downright dirty with Void 3.0 and could be absolutely the main play for the day one raid, that's how good it is. The new seasonal weapon, Under Your Skin, combines perhaps the best PvE origin trait with a ridiculous perk pool to create a monster of a weapon in PvE and it's also very very good in PvP as well. I'm going to say that this is the best bow in the game for PvE outright, right now. And for PvP, it has a pretty damn sweet role that I'm going to talk about later in the video, which is so good. Let's get into it. So Under Your Skin is a void energy slot bow. It drops from the seasonal activity, the Psyops Battleground, and it can also be found from Umbral Engrams. It's also craftable, but it requires three Deep Sight Resonance versions of the bow to drop before you obtain the pattern. Now that's going to require a heck of a grind, but let me tell you guys, it's going to be worth it. The best way to farm this weapon is to probably do a mixture of Psyops Battleground and focusing your Umbrals for the bow specifically. Eventually you'll get three Deep Sight Resonance versions of the weapon, and then leveling it up for those sexy enhanced perks is going to be key. One of the best features of this bow is its origin trait, Land Tank, which makes you into a literal walking tank when you can chain kills. Each kill gives you 5% damage resistance and one stack of resilience, and this can stack up to three times. The seasonal artifact has a mod called Psionic Forging 2, which only costs one energy on your helmet. 15% damage resistance is nothing to scoff at, guys. It's more than protective light currently. And with the artifact mod, Psionic Forging 2, you can chain this baby so easily as the buff duration goes up from 4 seconds to a whopping 10 seconds. The 15% damage resistance on this bow is why I think this will be amazing for endgame PvE content such as the contest mode raid or Grandmaster Nightfalls. Now let's talk about the perk pool. Honestly this thing has some ridiculous perks within its pool for PvE. It's difficult to choose an ultimate god roll here and it'll come down to personal preference. The bowstring recommendation here is elastic string to reduce draw time. The lack of accuracy won't hurt this bow too much for PvE as it is a precision frame. Next you want compact arrow shaft for increased reload speed. Now for PvE the name of the game is reduced draw time. So the perk that stands out for column 1 is Archer's Tempo which dramatically reduces draw time and lets you draw this weapon insanely fast after precision hits. If there's any enhanced perk you want on this bow and you want to spare your ascendant alloys, Archer's Tempo is the one, as it increases the duration of the buff so you can keep stacking it. The other perk in this column that I'm going to give a mention for PvE is Unrelenting for health regeneration, but honestly Archer's Tempo is king here. The next column is where it gets debatable and spicy. For a role where you want to double down on draw time, I'd recommend getting Enhanced Successful Warm Up which reduces the draw time on each kill even further. And yes, they do stack, and they do not hit any sort of cap. Astacross tested this out in his video, and this is such a satisfying roll to use. My personal favourite, however, is Explosive Head, which gives a flat 15% damage buff to this gun in PvE. In endgame content where you can't spam your bow shots as much and you're taking your time a little bit more, I think Explosive Head really shines for those minimal shots you take to maximise output. It's also amazing for taking out enemies behind cover or big phalanx shields. The other perk I want to mention here is Turnabout, which with this bow will give you an overshield when defeating enemies with a void shield. In terms of pure survivability, this perk in combination with land tank could be ridiculous. I'm on the lookout for this role specifically for the raid and GMs. Finally, I've heard a lot of people say adaptive munitions is very good as well. It gives it bonus damage against non-matching shields and the enhanced version of this perk increases this damage even more. Very handy for match game nightfalls. This season, this thing is nuts thanks to Void 3.0. It pairs so well with volatile rounds and work well with any class, not just Hunter. The main gameplay loop I'm using here utilizes certain mods. I use Reaping Wellmaker to use my dodge, go invisible, spawn a void well when I next get a kill with a void weapon. I then run over this void well to get volatile rounds and then keep going invisible with stylish executioner. By the time the duration for my volatile rounds runs out, my dodge is back up to repeat the loop. This kind of loop is achievable on all classes, so get this bow regardless of what class you're on guys. Did I mention we have anti-barrier bow as well this season? This bow has too many things going for it right now. Damage resist, void 3.0 compatibility, great perks, 
and anti-barrier. Honestly, this thing is going to be my go-to weapon for harder activities over something like the Funnel Web or the Enigma. Now how does this bow perform in the dark side? within the crucible. Well for PvP, this baby has one special role that I want to mention, hip fire grip and opening shot. Honestly, especially for you MNK boys, the cowboy jump and hip fire playstyle is so nice with this role, especially when paired with something like a shotgun. The hip fire grip and opening shot make this gun so so damn accurate even when fired from the hip and I can have full awareness of my surroundings. I'm not a bow main by any stretch of the imagination but using this role I had so much fun on the PS5 and it was actually quite effective in PvP as well. So there you have it boys, get your hands on one of these bows ASAP and then start farming those deep sight resonance versions of it. This is one weapon you want to invest the time and effort grinding it, you won't regret it one bit. If you enjoyed what I talked about today, make sure to show some love and remember to like the video. If you want more Destiny content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That's all for today guys, we'll be back soon with some more amazing guns from this expansion. Peace out.